Hello everyone, welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in this episode of Measure with Mensa, we're going to be looking at some sample questions of the Mensa examination. So here we'll be looking at questions and how to solve them effectively. Now Mensa challenges you with questions that involve critical thinking and lateral analysis. So therefore, let's look at some examples to uh, prep ourselves. So here comes the first question. Elk, mink, mouse, gibbon, panther. The question is, what creature comes next? And the options given are squirrel, tortoise, tigress, wildebeest, platypus, or aardvark. So, how do we solve this question? In order to solve this question, we need to check out the animals that are given in, in this particular list. First of all, we have elk. And the second one is mink. Now, if you look at the words itself, um, there is no connection between E, M, M, G, P, the first letters, or K, K, E, N, R, the last letters. But, enough, but a connection that you can make out is the connection between the last letter of the first word and the first letter of the next word. So, elk ends in a K, mink begins with an M. So, the letter M is the second letter after K. So, therefore, um, this relation actually holds. Now, let's look at the next, uh, let's look at the second and third words. The second word ends in a K again, so it has to start with an M again. So, plus two. Now, let's look at mouse and gibbon. Now, mouse ends in an E, the next letter is F, and the letter after that is G. So therefore, the plus two rule actually holds. Similarly, if you were looking at the um, let the words gibbon and panther, gibbon ends in an N, and uh, the next letter is O, and the letter after that is P. So now we have a working relation. Now, since panther ends in R, the next word has to begin with T, because S follows R and T follows S, so therefore, the animal that comes next has to begin with T. Now, there are two options here, tortoise and tigress. Now, we need to find out which of these is the actual correct answer. Now, we know that the other options are incorrect. Aardvark, platypus, wildebeest, square, all of these are incorrect. However, how do you choose between tortoise and tigress? Well, if you look at the if you look at the list again, you see that there is another factor that determines the words given. So elk has three letters, mink has four letters, mouse has five letters, gibbon has six letters, panther has seven letters. So the next so since the number of letters in the word are increasing, the next word has to have eight letters. If you look at tigress, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It has seven letters. However, in tortoise, you have eight letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So tortoise has a total of eight letters. So that means the right answer is tortoise. So that concludes the first question. Let's look at another one. January, February, April, July, November, April, blank. We need to find out what comes next here. Now, if you look at, uh, um, you know, normal uh, letter, letter-based um, formats, there isn't any. So let's look at the format based on the month itself. Since we have April twice, there, there, this has to be an interesting phenomenon. Now, between January and February, there are zero months. The reason being, Feb comes right after Jan. Now, what about April and February? There is the month of March between April and February, so therefore, there's a gap there. If you look at... Um, 
July, then we can see that uh, between April and July there are two months which are May and June. Now if you look at November and July, you can see that um, there are three months in between there, August, September and October. Now finally, between November and April, there are four months. You have December, January, February and March. So therefore, um, so therefore, the next ca uh, month that needs to be on this list is the sixth month after April. So five months have to be present between April and this particular month. So if you look at the calendar, after April comes May, and then comes June, July, August, September. So those are the five months between April and the month that needs to come on the list. So therefore the right answer is the month after September, which according to the calendar is October. So October turns out to be the right option, the right answer. Now let's look at another question. This one has a letter series on it. We need to find out which letters should appear in the fourth square. So you have a set of four squares. Each square is further subdivided into four parts and we have letters in the first three squares. We need to find out how the letters should appear in the fourth square. Now at first glance you have A, C, E, G, B, E, H, K, C, G, K, O and they are not exactly related. But here's an idea to better visualize what's going on. So we have A, C, E, G, B, E, H, K, I mean, yeah, and then C, G, O, I mean, C, G, K, O. And we have the last set to be filled. Now, it's way easier to work out the, um, the letters that need to be filled here while they're written out instead of using the square themselves. So if you look at the top uh, left letter, for the first square it's A, for the second square it's B, and for the third square it is C. So as you can see it follows the alphabet, the consecutive letters are put in on the top left corner. So therefore the next letter would be D. So in the top left corner of the fourth square, the letter that needs to, the, the, the top left corner of the fourth square must have the letter D. Now let's look at the top right corner of the four squares. Now it begins with C, then we've got E, and in the third square we have G. We need to check out what comes in the final square. So um, E is the second letter after C. Similarly, G is the second letter after E. So therefore the next, the, the letter in the top right corner for the fourth square is two letters after, is the second letter after G. So G is followed by H, which is then followed by I. So therefore, now let's avoid this particular square and we'll draw a new one with the actual answers in it. So the top left corner is D and the top right corner is I. Next, we have the bottom right corner. Now in the first square, it's filled by E, in the second, it's filled by H, and in the third, it's filled by K. So what fills the fourth, the fourth square's top, bottom right corner? If you look at the letters themselves, you can see that H is the third letter from E. Similarly, K is the third letter from H. So the next letter that needs to come um, on that needs to come on the bottom right corner of the fourth square has to be the third letter after K. So in the alphabet, uh, K is followed by L, L is followed by M, 
and um, the next letter would be N. So the letter N needs to be present here, needs to be present on the bottom right corner. So now we have the bottom left corner left out. We have G for, for that. We have G on the first square, K on the second square, and O in the third square. The fourth square needs to be filled. Now, if you look at um, how these are arranged, if you look at the relation between G and K, you can see that K is the fourth letter from G. So um, H follows G, I follows H, J follows I, and K follows J. So between G and K, there are three letters in between, so K is the fourth letter from G. Similarly, O is the fourth letter from K. So we have L, M, and N between these two letters. So in order to get, get the, la the, the last letter for the fourth square, we just have to find the fourth letter from the letter O. So after O, we have P, then we have Q, and then we have R. So the, so the fourth letter after O is actually S. So what letters should appear in the fourth square? The right answer is D, I, N, S, if we go on the clockwise order. So therefore, D, I, N, S are the letters that should appear in the fourth square. Now let's look at the final question for the day. We have 7896432 as a number. It is related to another number called 9872346. Similarly, the number 9247183 is related to 4293817. So we are basically um, coding and decoding here. We need to find out what number is related to 8629471 according to the same logic. Now, if we look at the first set, we have 7896432, and its counterpart is 9872346. So what had happened? We took the first seven digit number, and what we did is we took the first three digits and inverted their positions. So that means 9 goes into 7, 7 goes into 9. Next, we took the fourth digit and pulled it as the last digit. And then the triad of uh, numbers after the fourth digit were inverted again. So in short, the first triad is inverted here. The last triad is also inverted right after the first triad, and the number in between comes at the end. So this is how we construct, this is how its counterpart was constructed. Now, in order to verify this, we need to prove it for the second set as well. So we have 9247183. Now over here, 924 inverted gives you 429. 817 inverted gives you I mean, 183 inverted gives you 381, and then the middle digit, that 7, is at the end. So as you can see, using that logic, we found out how the sets of numbers were created. So all of this aside, if we were to find out our answer, all we have to do is use the logic on the number that's given. So we have 8629471. So its partner number would be like this. So the first three digits, eight, six, and two, are inverted on their positions. So the first goes into the third, the third goes into the first, the second stays where it is. So eight, six, two becomes two, six, eight. Next, we have the last triad, that's four, seven, one. That is again inverted to form one, seven, four. And then finally, the digit nine is added at the end. So the right answer turns out to be the digit four, six, I mean, 2681749. So that is the correct answer to this particular question. So that concludes this episode of 
Measure with Mensa. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to hit the notifications icon present below the video. So until the next webisode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.